Uh, my name is Federico Herrero. I'm from Costa Rica and I'm an artist working in the medium of painting. South London Gallery spoke to me about this possibility of a site-specific work in the context of the show Under the Same Sun. And I saw the images of this playground. It offered a type of interaction and a type of context that I was uh, really looking for. Kind of a bit avoiding the idea of a mural that is uh, connected to decoration, but much more interested in the idea of a mural that it's connected to an experience. You see where the scaffolding is? Yeah. That's, that's my block there. There's nothing for kids around here. Nothing. It is quite a dull park. Start is brightening up already. I'm going to post you on Facebook, the new artist on my estate. I am. I don't use a sketch or plan to approach the work. I will use more of a physical type of knowledge to, to connect with it. Uh, cracks on the floor, dimensions of the, of the space and architecture will, will give me a type of guidance of how I start. How I work is just placing a bit uh, uh, shapes and colors, like mapping the space a bit. And so that creates a structure uh, to start to work with. And more green, green is my favorite color. <laughs> But what's incredible of, uh, of Federico's work is that uh, painting is only an excuse to, to make things happen. You know, by activating the space through painting, it's actually activating a, a community of kids, a community of teenagers, and giving them the place back to them. So really, there's something uh, incredible that happens when, uh, when people are there. Like color kind of has an effect on, the, on transformating the, the kind of uh, activities that people do there. We had the children's workshop. The idea is to create a kind of a structure with the, with the grids and the, uh, the cracks and then we'll have this kind of mapping of the place in an abstract picture. So you choose any one of them. It looked like a bit like a Mondrian at the beginning and it started to open up into each one individual expression. Some kids uh, definitely have talent and I hope this is a good uh, activation for them. It's absolutely brilliant. We are so local, so a chance for the kids to get out and socialise with each other as well. Every child has their own unique style, so it's actually showing, you know, the creativity of what each child can do. It shows like how creative Packham can be. Like I like today because it could actually help me improve in my art. They should do it again next year because all of the children will like it. So well, for me, the, the, the way kids or, or teenagers can come and hang out here and, and relate to the shapes and colors, the way maybe you would relate to sound and music, that creates a type of knowledge that I'm looking for. Today we had a barbecue. Kids have come out of their houses and with their parents and I think it's kind of a perfect ice-breaking warming up of the space and uh, kind of the beginning of, of the of so, sort of a relationship within the kids and the, and the work. <laughs> the barbecue is amazing. Dorothy is an amazing cook, the most amazing chicken I ever had. It's fantastic, you know, especially seeing children. A lot of them out here being so happy in this summer day. I'm always looking at the wind and feeding the birds, you know, and the squirrels. Then I see the pot of paint come out, I thought, oh, what are they going to do now? And I think it's a good idea. Brightens the place up and it's nice and bright. I'm living in this house, so it's my grandchildren that look at the back. Those are they wish. I should follow them to come down here. That's why we are here. It's very nice. My name's Darius. I live in Heron House on the sixth floor, just that block just behind us. It sends a sign out to the people that live here that there are people that care, that are willing to kind of represent that visually. And so the bright colours and the vibrance of the art of the artwork is is, is really cool, really exciting. Yeah. It really has brought 
everybody together, the community. It's been great working with Frederico. It meant that everyone here in the community could also get involved in this project. It's brought people together, as you can see. Well, you made our park look better, so thank you. Now, when you first started, um, I looked out my window and I thought, there's a nut I paint in the park. I've got to be honest, I thought, what's he doing? And I was looking out my window every day, and it was really nice just watching him paint. It was relaxing. I've had a lot of fun actually. It's, I feel that people have been connecting to the work very well, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad about that. Color and shapes in, an, in a general way, it's a language that every human can relate to. It's, a, it's, it's, it's sort of a shared language. It is some place where cultures, uh, different people, different coming from different places can have a common ground and it represents a type of shared space.